Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It feels like it has been forever and a day since I have uploaded or even filmed a YouTube video. Little bit of a life update. The past week or so, my boyfriend Cody, who lives in Mobile, Alabama, came over to Texas for his vacation, and we went on like a week-long trip showing him all around Texas, and it was a blast. I just dropped off my dogs Bo and Maisie here at the Petco Grooming to get them shaved. They're both having problems with like their skin right now and apparently a lot of dogs are so probably Hurricane Harvey stirred something up in the air made all these dogs have an allergic reaction. I don't know but they're getting shaved my poor dogs. This morning we're taking my fluffy puppy and Maisie to the groomers to go get shaved one more time before the end of the heat here in Texas. Oh, he's so fluffy. So are you. Let's go. So, this morning, just dropped the dogs off. Now I'm going to run over to the grocery store and I'm going to pick up a roast because I'm going to make a Mississippi pot roast for dinner tonight. I'm going to stick it in the crock pot when I get home, let it simmer all day, and it'll be ready this evening. Hey, crazy Finn, can you not eat that? Can you not eat that, you crazy cat? Can you not? Little Finn? Little owl, okay. Please ignore my ratchetness. I was stuck in the rain. But I just got home from the grocery store. I got stuff for my pot roast, and I also just grabbed a couple of other things. Let me show you what I picked up. So this is the extra stuff I bought. This is the stuff for the pot roast. We're going to start over here first. This is some zucchini spirals because I bought them since they were on sale. These were also on sale. These like cracker cut salami. But they were like five dollars and I think that's a pretty good deal for five dollars. I have been super obsessed with ham lately. So I got some zero carb smoked ham. Some cashew milk for the iced coffee I'm going to make here in a few minutes. I got some fruit teas to drink. I grabbed two of these Lily's chocolate bars as a little dessert for the future. I got some sugar-free jello. And that is all of this. And now I'm going to go grab my crock pot and we're just going to go ahead and throw this together. All right, we are going to make a keto Mississippi pot roast. First off, I have my crock pot right here. I lined it with one of these slow cooker liners. I just use these because it just makes it so much freaking easier to clean this up after it's done. First off, you're gonna need a chuck roast, about three to five pounds, and this was the only one the store had. So, this is what I brought home. Next, you're going to need some whole pepper on Sini peppers. I just found this. It was like $2 by the pickles. A stick of butter. I'm using Kerrygold. And a packet of au jus gravy mix. And a packet of ranch. And those are the five ingredients you need to make this pot roast. So let me go ahead, open this, and we're going to chunk it in there. This recipe is super simple. So you're going to take your au jus gravy and your ranch packet. You're just going to open it up and sprinkle it straight on top of your roast in the crock pot. For the next step, literally, all you do is take your stick of butter, open it up, and plop it straight on top of your roast. And the very last step is taking your whole pepperoncini peppers and putting five to six just straight on top 
of the roast as well. Just lay them on there, nice and whatever. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do one to grow on. So there you have it. Took all of about three to four minutes to throw this together. Five ingredients. What we're going to do is place our lid right on top and cook this on low for 10 hours. So we will check back in here in a little while and see how the roast is going. One of you lovely viewers sent me this iced coffee or cold brew coffee maker and I am absolutely loving it. So this is some just pumpkin spice coffee grounds that I bought a while back that you just screw in and you let it sit overnight and it makes you some cold brew iced coffee. So, I'm going to pour me a cup to start off my day. And then I'm going to top it with just a little splash of this cashew milk. Alright, that may have been a little bit more than a splash. But maybe about a quarter to a half of a cup. There's only a couple calories in cashew milk. So I'm not too concerned about that. Lastly, here is a little bit of this liquid stevia that I'm going to put right in here. And there we go. We got some cold brew iced coffee. And here's an annoying little Barney who wants attention. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. Can you smell that meat? I'm sure you do. You must smell it too. So right now I'm going ahead and making my go-to breakfast lately. I've been literally obsessed with ham for some reason. Probably because I didn't eat it for 22 years of my life. So we're going to do ham and eggs for breakfast this morning. This is three ounces of ham or a serving and a half of this ultra thin smoked ham. I cut it up into small pieces and I'm about to throw it in the pan. Today I am using two of these Kraft American slices of cheese. This is definitely not my go-to cheese, but we're kind of running low in the cheese department and this is less than one carb a slice. So I'm going with the processed crap. Not what I recommend at all. And then this is three scrambled eggs with sea salt and pepper so I'm gonna add some Kerrygold into the pan and we'll get to cooking let's go ham is now cooked so I'm gonna pour in my three scrambled eggs you really can't cook in this house without little peeping toms everywhere Mr. Barney and lastly I just added my two slices of cheese I'm gonna mix them all up into my eggs and make us some cheesy eggs for breakfast yes this is my favorite meal currently here is my big old plate of cheesy eggs yum this will hold me over for quite a while. So, this is my breakfast. Yum! Both of the doggies got groomed and they both got them a little ice cream toy because they were on sale. Maisie's all clean. Bo, I don't know what the heck the lady did to his face. I think he has some scabs right there so she didn't shave it all the way. He looks a little bit rough, but we gotta get his little skin condition under control. Here's his ice cream cone. Oh, so cute. Oh, oh no. need to go 
go upstairs and clean my room. So I made me like a little snacking plate to eat for my little second meal of the day. It's very high fat and will hold me over until dinner. Here is my little plate of goodies to snack on. I have some of these mini dill pickles, a little handful of macadamia nuts, two slices of Havarti cheese, and some of these salami cracker cuts. And that is my little smorgasbord to pick off of while I go clean. And let's check on this pot roast. It's looking mighty delicious. Ooh. And my camera's fogged up. Bo, say hello to everyone. They have missed you oh so dearly. Oh so dearly. For my final meal of the night, I'm going to have a sugar-free strawberry jello and a sugar-free orange jello. While my little main man sits here and begs because he's a bad old beggar. Well guys, with that, I am headed to bed for the night. I am exhausted. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this keto full day of eating. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mwah.